Hey guys, today I'm reporting from the VMP Ranch here in New Smyrna Beach and today I wanted to talk F-150. A lot of the uh, guys are asking me about, you know, what do you do with F-150s, good modifications to do, this and this and that, what are the differences with the Coyote motors with the F-150. So today I'm going to show you this truck as an example of things that you can do to make it more like a Mustang Coyote engine and things that he has done based on our, our recommendations and, uh, you know, what kind of power to expect out of it. It's literally a 2014 uh, regular cab f-150 let me uh, turn the camera around and show you a little bit about it okay here we go and he came in he wanted to just get a dyno tune or something like that and they said look what are your goals with the truck that's the first thing i tend to ask people what are your goals and he's like well what do you think i should do i said well if you're looking to make actual power with it then we're going to treat it just like a coyote car the biggest difference between the f-150 and the Coyote um, in a Mustang is the cams. Uh, there's a little smaller, you know, there's a little lower compression on F-150 Coyotes, but not that much to really matter. But the intake cams are the worst things on the planet on these things. The intake cams are different. So what did he do? He said, I'm going to go in there and I'd like to put a Cobra Jet intake, do the whole nine yards, do a set of cams. And that's what he ended up doing. He brought it here and we installed the Cobra Jet intake. Fits nice and snug inside there. Plenty of room as our twin 67 millimeter throttle body. Uh, we're waiting on the P-Mass cold air and there'll be plenty of, air, plenty of uh, room to put the P-Mass cold air in there. But he also went ahead and had us install a set of Comp Cam Stage 3s, these guys right here. We did not install the limiters because I think there's a lot of power to be gained without the limiters, okay? This truck, what my goal really or his goal uh, our goal to uh, achieve with this truck is over 400 rear wheel horsepower because we're going to be testing it in third gear now that does not sound like much uh, but we're testing it in third gear because i don't want to spin these tires any higher than they should fourth gear on these trucks on the dyno the tires get really thin and you know they, they grow a lot and i don't want to have to replace this whole bed because i made a pull in fourth gear but also what he ended up doing since it was here he installed a set of Cooks headers, we'll zoom in. Installed a set of Cooks long tubes and we went ahead and fabbed up a custom uh, exhaust from there on back. There's his old exhaust and look at the manifolds on F 150s. You want to talk about power robbing horse, power robbing uh, design. That's it right there. So I'm going to use this as a teaching moment. Look, I don't know everything, but I'd like to bring you guys as much info as I can. So, here you go. Mustang, manifold, F-150 manifold, 11 to 14, 11 to 14. So you obviously see the difference right there. How this would flow a lot more than a log style uh, manifold. So we ended up putting a set of headers in the truck and did a custom axle back, cap back. Get underneath here and Mike, our tech, went ahead and fabbed up an exhaust on his own. Um, something we did in-house. He does really good work. Basically, it's uh, two big old resonators. That guy and that guy coupled to a set of headers. And this thing sounds real good. Now, I'm not gonna let you guys hear it yet because we have to put it on the dyno, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to make FDs, how to make these F-150s you know, perform a little better and what the key differences are. So from this point forward, we're gonna treat this truck like a regular Coyote car, like a Mustang at this point. We're not gonna treat it any different. We're gonna tune it just like you tune a Mustang because it's basically a Mustang at this point, for lack of a better word. It's got a Cobra Jet intake, twin 67 throttle body, P-Mass cold air, comp stage three cams, 47 pound injectors. So he'll have the option of going E85 and make some, you know, decent power and not really have octane limitations a lot of times the biggest limitation we have as tuners and as you know calibrators is what octane are you using you know if you're using e85 we can play but if you're using pump gas we're going to be limited you know so we're going to have to play around to make sure the car's happy on 93 but on e85 we'll give it all the timing all the spark everything on the planet and make sure the car 
or truck is happy. So for you guys out there that have F-150s and are wondering what to do, well, this is what I would recommend. Cams. If you can find a set of stock cams, you're fine. If you can find a set of boss cams, you're good. If you can swing a set of comp cams, you're really good. Okay, you can do a, set, a, a, a manifold upgrade, like a intake manifold upgrade like this one has the Cobra Jet. Or you can do the boss, but remember, with any higher rise intake, you're going to lose low end torque. Even with a set of cams, you're going to lose lower end torque. But we're going to try to make that up in the horsepower range. And this guy wants to have one of the quicker and naturally aspirated F-150s around. And we're going to do our best to accommodate him. So again, guys, you saw what the manifolds look like. The intake cam is the biggest difference between this and a regular Mustang Coyote engine. But if you can get a, a set of GT cams, a set of boss cams, or swing a set of comp cams, you can party. Long tubes, free-flowing exhaust, set of cams on this guy and an intake manifold, it's going to be good. So I'm going to update you as soon as I get this guy on the dyno. We'll update you guys with numbers. Stay tuned. I'll hope to bring that to you guys within the next week or so. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.